Hello. While you're watching this, it may be raining outside, or perhaps not. But without a fancy crystal ball, we couldn't tell you what the weather will be on the day you see this video, regardless of the season. That is not the case in the tropical savannas of Australia's Northern Territory. The savannas are characterized by two main seasons, a wet and a dry. The wet season features prodigious monsoonal rains, turning vast areas into wetlands. In the dry season, it generally never rains, and fires are common. All the flora and fauna in the savanna must adapt to the dry season, and the adaptations they possess are many and varied. One of the characteristics of the dry season is an abundance of small fires. These are often anthropogenic, and if they occur early on in the season, the fuel load is low enough that they may merely burn the grass in the understory, leaving the canopy intact. However, they do affect all the species present. For instance, black kites migrate into the Northern Territory during the dry season to take advantage of the immense quantities of insects fleeing from fires. Plant species, such as fantail palms and cycads, are also adapted to fire, storing as much energy as possible in fire-resistant roots and stems, allowing them to regrow foliage within a couple weeks after a fire. Another plant species, turkey bush, is a highly resistant to fire, which has caused bowerbirds to construct their display bowers underneath it. This allows them to reuse their bowers from year to year in spite of fires. Another critical challenge of the dry season is the scarcity of water. Many water bird breeding sites dry up in the dry season, forcing the birds to adopt a nomadic lifestyle. Many are adapted to soar great distances in search of scattered water holes. When they find such water holes, such as those at Kakadu National Park, concentrations of hundreds or thousands may remain until the food supply is exhausted. Another example is the saltwater crocodile, which moves from upstream habitats down into estuaries and other permanent wetlands, where it poses a threat to all large prey species, including humans. For animals with limited dispersal, estivation provides a viable option for survival. Another option, exhibited by the rainbow pitta, is to remain close to permanent watercourses like creeks, ensuring a year-round supply of resources. Although it may seem that the savanna is a very inhospitable place because of the severity of the seasons and the possibility of fires in the dry season, numerous species of plants and animals have managed to adapt to life there, surviving and even thriving. In fact, having evolved so well to life in the Northern Territory, they would doubtless consider our seasons inhospitable ones.